Hello guys, welcome to my review of the Quicktoons uh, software. I will give you the details on how to a gain access to this software. This is a trial version. I'm not sure where you can actually get the full version, but the trial version just allows you to Oh, ah, there you go, just I don't give me anything. It just really allows you to record a couple of minute segments. So, yeah, so at, at most 30 seconds in trial version. So it's not that long, but it's you don't really need it for what you're going to be doing. So what you first need to do is you need to go to video sources, then Microsoft Live Chat, which is my webcam which I'm using, I can see it's a little bit weird just because it's one of the effects and you can do it in things like this gives you loads of things that you can do which is pretty good but also not that great now this is just like blur the background now you can you have to do like train the background and then it, you have to try and get it so it only shows your thing but this is blue in the background. What you want to do though is, in order to make it a sort of green screen thing, you want to do it to change the background. I can see it's like that, but you can choose your background. And I'm just going to do green. And there you go. And so when I move back and forwards, it updates. But I'm just going to reset it and change my settings because you've got to like, turn off all like true colour and stuff I'm actually going to turn it on just to see what it's like and then train background and there you go it works kind of well like that but if I just turn off true colour I just need to restart change the brightness, white balance, exposure, contrast, you can do it like that, or extremely high, uh, see how well it is, there we go, as you can see what I've done is, and then you just got to change the settings so that suits you so you see that works kind of well and then in order to get it actually on well it's a little bit strange up here in order to actually get it to on on OBS, I'm actually recording right now with it. So what I do is I add in a new thing, and it's a window capture. That's what I do. Then it's in a window. Uh, and just leave it with that. Cut, uh, use the I use the chroma key setting. So I do select and I select the green background and then click OK and as you see when I move my head that updates so that's like a little window into it but in order to get rid of like, this annoying backdrop sort of thing I press edit scene alt and just drag them in like this And then I just resize it to how I want it to be. And I can still like change some stuff in here. So like more background. I can even restart it. So like train background. You have to try and get your head in between these things. So I'm going to go backwards. And 
and bring my head forward and it works actually kind of well. It actually looks a bit better now, doesn't it? If I just change the amount of background and stuff. There we go. Move shadows, as you can see, it goes onto the mic. So just deselect that. Yeah, what for uh, blur level? I'm not really sure what that does, but because I haven't really Let's see advanced. All right, advanced options is this stuff here. So as you can see, it does work kind of well. I'm just going to. Uh, Something I forgot to mention. Something that the video that I the video that I did this in for was Five Nights at Freddy's, and I should have said that at the start, but I forgot. So if you want to see that video in action, click on screen now. So click on screen now, and you'll be able to see it in action and stuff. So this is how I managed to do it, and. Backdrop behind me. If I just go back to camera, ah, that's because that's been used. Uh, if I close this program, then back to camera. Tap. Yes, there you go. That now works. As you can see behind me, I've got a just a blanket or so. Sure, I've got probably got the green, but this is just a basic blanket, really. <laughs> Had it for a while, and it's got some. Alligator clips here and got elastic band holding up my microphone and paper clips holding up that and more up here and that is just my basic backdrop because before it was just like this and I'll show you It just just like that, which isn't that great if you want to go and use this. If I just go to it, quick tunes, and if I want to change the background, so if I want to ch change the background, it's not that great for this. It doesn't work that well, as you can see. It doesn't exactly work as well as the one. So I'm just going to show you. I have this one on one side, and I'll show you what the other one was. So let me just actually a bit better. There, as you can see, it's still not that great since it's changing background. But without this, it still works alright, right, but not that great. So, hope. Once again, the link will be in the description below to where you can get this. Uh, hopefully, you know, this is in gave you a bit of a like alternative, I guess, to what you need to do. Like, basically, a cheap alternative because this is completely free, and it works extremely well. So, there's my original here, and so original, and then this cropped one so yeah anyways well hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching